Hey, this is Jules here, run a small investment firm that specializes in REIT investing. And lately we've had quite a lot of good news that seem to indicate that the window of opportunity could be closing very soon for REIT investments, which are still today heavily discounted. I'm gonna start by first discussing interest rates, then I'm gonna discuss KKR's recent move into the apartment sector. And then finally, the third piece of good news is Blackstone's recent remarks, which seem to indicate that they're interested in buying out more REITs in the near term. So let's start here with the interest rates the first piece of good news is that we've now had many central banks around the world start to cut interest rates uh, first in the eurozone in canada in switzerland hungary sweden those countries have already cut interest rates england is expected to follow with its first interest rate cut in august and while i think that it's gonna take a bit longer for the us to start cutting interest rates it gives you a clear direction for where interest rates are now headed i think that this is a strong signal for what to expect back in the US and uh, Jerome Powell just recently made that clear as well as a, at an event uh, earlier this week on Tuesday he said that we've now made remarkable progress in bringing inflation down and that we now see clear signs of disinflationary trends resuming and he's correct because if you look at the latest data of trueflation which is a private market measurement of real-time inflation currently the inflation in the US is at 1.85 percent so quite a bit below the two percent target rate uh, and so this greatly increases the chances of us seeing one or two or even more interest rate cuts later this year right now the debt market is pricing a roughly 60% chance of one rate cut by this September already and a 93% chance of at least one rate cut by the end of this year and yeah this is very good news obviously because rates crashed due to rising interest rates and therefore it would seem logical for rates to also recover as interest rates are now cut in the near term we've known that this was coming so this is not all news but this latest evidence seemed to reaffirm that this is really likely going to happen in the near term and we're very happy to see it now the second piece of good news for REITs is that the private equity powerhouse KKR just recently announced a massive apartment uh, transaction they're acquiring a two billion dollar portfolio from Leonard which is their biggest apartment investment ever and I take this as very good news because KKR is known for being a very opportunistic player they have a very good track record at buying assets that are hated at bargain valuations and today they are choosing to buy apartment communities they made the remark that now is a great moment to invest in real estate because supply is expected to fall off a cliff uh, already next year and especially in 2026 which should lead to an acceleration in rent growth and also pick up in transaction activity we are very heavily invested in apartment REITs at higher landlords so we are very happy to see this happen I mean the more more sophisticated players we see move into the apartment sector the better it is because it supports higher asset valuations uh, this deal is closing at about 400k per unit and I would note here that many of our apartment rates are actually trading at just about half of that so so it really shows you the upside potential that we could see in the coming years as interest rates are cut and rent growth accelerates and then the third piece of good news is that Blackstone, which is the biggest private equity firm in the world, uh, managing over one trillion worth of investments, just participated at a conference a couple of weeks ago and they made some interesting remarks which seem to imply that they are likely to buy out more REITs in the near term. To be more specific, here's what they said. So real estate is a simple business. It's just about supply and demand. And if you stop building and the economy keeps growing out a few years, you'll get real shortage and you'll have rents really pop up and you'll make a tremendous amount of money. So I've seen this movie play out numerous times. It provides amazing opportunities for us because we are the best capitalized real estate buyer in the world. We have more money and we are not shy to use it when prices get beat down and the world asks the same question like, oh my goodness, you're in real estate, must be terrible and we look like well yeah uh, this is the bottom land uh, we are buying pretty aggressively now we've already done a number of big deals this year here they are referring to their recent acquisitions of Tricon residential as well as apartment income REIT which are two REITs that they acquired for about 17 billion dollars so yes these are pretty big deals and we, we profited from both of these transactions at higher landlord which is my REIT newsletter you can join it for a two-week free trial if you want to gain immediate access to all of my holdings uh, but but yeah, it really shows that they are not just talking, they're actually also taking action and following up on their words. 
And then so he, he continues that uh, we've already done a number of big deals, we'll be a net buyer for some time. So our attitude towards real estate is quite positive. And you can imagine being down 60, 70% in construction in good areas. I mean, this is really good for me to make money in real estate. And again, I mean, he's, they are confirming what KKR is also saying earlier is that we've seen a very significant drop in new construction activity because of the high inflation, the surge in interest rates and so the supply growth is going to slow down very significantly already in 2025 2026 but the demand is still growing in popular areas think of cities that are rapidly growing like miami or dallas or austin or i mean many others markets so if you have demand growing but supply coming down significantly naturally then rent growth is going to accelerate meanwhile many rates are today very heavily discounted and so i think it's quite likely based on these remarks that blackstone is going to keep acquiring them in the near term. But it's not just Blackstone. There are many other private equity firms that are interested in REITs. I, I mentioned KKR earlier. Uh, we've had Fortress, uh, MCB Real Estate, Oak Street, GIC. I'm sure there are others that I'm not thinking of right now, but that have acquired REITs in the in the recent past. Uh, we, we just last week, we posted an article at Hired Landlord that showed how there's been a lot of interest for our biggest retail REIT investment lately, which is called Whitestone REIT. They've received several offers in recent months to acquire the REIT and while no deal has actually occurred the company hasn't been bought out it has still pushed its share price a lot higher it has risen by something like 40 percent since October so this really shows you that this M&A activity can be very positive to the market sentiment of REITs even if no deal occurs and I expect us to see more of this in the near term and so this is a strong catalyst for the REIT sector and so for all these reasons I will keep accumulating REITs steadily week after week just like I've done in the past. I cannot time the market. I don't know exactly when rates will recover, but I think that the, the fundamentals are strong for the most part. We have strong catalysts in the near term that could push rate share prices higher. And so I will keep accumulating more rates steadily, just like I've done in the past. I share all my trade alerts in real time at High Yield Landlord. If you want to join it, there's a two-week free trial, as I mentioned earlier. There's also still a $100 discount for the 4th of July. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. Finally, if you thought that this video was informative, I would greatly appreciate it if you click the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much in advance and see you at my next one. Bye-bye.